Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to explore the basics of creating a 360 degree head. You can see here that each head has a number of different facial features and we can set the maximum movement limit for each feature, simulating the appearance of a smooth and natural looking head rotation. The new masking tool in Cartoon Animator 4 allows us to achieve 2.5D rotation. The 360 heads also support multi-angle sprites to enhance the 3D effect and all 11 standard facial features can be customized and set up to achieve the best rotation result. Essentially what a 360 head is, is it's just going to be basically adjusting some settings on your character's face to make it appear as though it's, you know, smoothly rotating in a three-dimensional manner. Okay, and you can see all the facial features and everything like that added on here as well. Now there's some more advanced stuff that we can talk about and we'll get into that in just a bit. But first of all, let's go ahead and start with our character. We have this angry looking cartoon character here. And what we're going to do is we're going to generate a 360 head from this image here. So if I go into the composer mode right up here, uh, in composer mode, we have an option to generate a 360 degree head. So with our character selected or the head selected rather, just go over here and this icon says 360 head creator. Okay. Just click on that. All right. So in the 360 head creator, there's a couple of different settings here. We're going to talk about this one on the very top left called quick head turn setup. Okay. So if you just want to really create a quick head, uh, you know, you're not looking for too much detail. This is the, what you, uh, this is what you can take a look at. We're also going to talk a little bit more about the detailed one here uh, later on. Okay, but for now we're going to go ahead, go ahead and start with the quick head turn setup, okay? So this is just basic four directional uh, setup for your character's head. Now, uh, if I just cancel this actually, let's go ahead and preview first. Um, I'm going to preview what, the, what it's going to look like right here. Right now this is all we have. So if we preview and we move around, you can see we're just kind of tilting this, um, you know, 2D uh, plane. Uh, to make it appear as though uh, there's some perspective to it as well, okay? And we'll talk more about uh, how to adjust that later on. Okay, back into the uh, quick head turn setup here. So what this will do is this will automatically generate a couple of different angles for you. So you can see we have uh, up, our, down, our left, down, and right, okay? Now these look not terrible. I mean, the, the top one, the hair needs to be repositioned, obviously. Uh, but what we can do is we can, let's start here with the left. So the left is currently set to 40 degrees. We can take that even further by uh, clicking on this uh, little point here and sliding it uh, using our slider here uh, to take it all the way up to like 90 degrees basically. Okay, so the full side facing character. And again, it's just basically masking out the shape of the face. And uh, anytime that uh, one of your facial sprites like the eyes goes towards that direction, it'll just kind of disappear over the horizon of the, of the face. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a couple angles. Uh, I'm going to do 84 degrees here. Okay, just to simulate this sort of effect here. And uh, obviously what you'd want to do here is you want to take this uh, hair item here and move it over here, the hair sprite. Now you can see that the hair, if we put the hair sprite right here, it's kind of over top of the eyebrow, which we don't want. If you want, you can go to the layer manager over here and you can click and drag that front hair layer all the way down so it's uh, below everything. If you want to do that, you can move it there. Or you can just move it up here as well. Okay, and then once you set that left uh, angle, you can go ahead and preview you can see this is what you're going to have right here, okay? From the center to the left, that's the result, okay? You can turn preview off, and then we can do the same thing right over here. So right now we have 80, 84, let's do 84 on the other side as well, okay? It's just the same process, and just put that little tuft of hair up here, and then preview, we can go from side to side, just like this. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty simple stuff. Just uh, press the up key. Again, you can adjust the angle. I'm going to leave it at 30 right here. Uh, we're just going to move this a little bit down and we're going to uh, shorten it up here because uh, just to create that forced perspective of the uh, hair tuft on top of the head there. And then preview, we'll have something like this. Okay. Okay. As long as you don't go too extreme, it looks actually not that bad at this moment. Um, just like this. Okay. We'll take uh, one, more stab, one more stab at it here. Uh, the bottom angle or the bottom uh, perspective here. Let's take that down to like, I don't know, 45 or 50 or something like that. And then what we can do is we can uh, move this hair tuft down. We can widen it, make it a little bit larger since it's, you know, um, closer to the uh, viewer's perspective uh, at this uh, angle. And then we'll go ahead and preview. So now we have this. Okay. So as long as you stay, you know, within the center area here, it's actually looking not too bad. So for a quick head turn setup, just a couple minutes and this is what you get. Okay. Now you can, uh, there's masking and layering options here as well. Um, if you don't want masking, you turn masking off. Uh, it's not going to mask your other features. Okay. Just like this. And if you preview, it's going to look kind of weird like this. 
<laughs> eyes are just going to go from side to side and it seems like he's constantly looking at the camera. Kind of creepy, actually. Okay, so that's really the quick head turn setup. And once you're finished that, um, I'm going to apply masking again. Uh, once you finish that, uh, you can go ahead and apply. Now, notice that when I uh, turn the masking on and off as well, um, these certain uh, uh, sprites here, the elements, the right eye, right brow, and everything like that, currently they have masking on, okay? If you turn it off, okay, you, they'll, you can do it one by one. You can turn the brow off um, and so on and so forth, okay? Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and uh, you can just go ahead and apply this. doesn't really matter because we're going to uh, adjust the setup using this uh, 3D head creator as well, okay? So this one here allows us to do a bit more detail. Uh, and then you'll see what I mean here if I uh, press up. Let's just go into the transform tab here for now, to the side. So the uh, simple, the basic head setup, the quick head setup here, doesn't allow us to do the diagonal angles, okay? Uh, which are kind of the problem, okay? And it also doesn't allow us to transform or deform the sprites. Uh, so if you want to transform the, the sprites in order to simulate, you know, a different angle, uh, you want to use this setup here, okay? So let's go ahead and do this. Um, I'm going to start with the left here, okay? So the left, pretty similar uh, from the uh, from the uh, quick quick head turn setup that we have, okay? Not much of a difference. Again, we can put it down if we want. Uh, the hair tuft down a little bit, so it's kind of just lapping over the... Uh, layering over the eyebrow there uh, and then go ahead and preview so preview same thing so we have this and this just like this okay now what I want to do here is for this particular uh, setting for this uh, setup here I want to take off mask view and uh, notice that when you take off mask view it doesn't actually change the masking uh, setting here on your layer manager so even if you have mask view off you have to make sure that you unmask I guess all these uh, items here uh, manually okay just to make them all unmasked and then uh, we can go from there. So I'm going to use an um, unmasked view here and we're going to take these elements. I'm going to resize them uh, the trans using the transform tab. Okay. We can use deform, which we'll talk about in a moment, but for now we're going to use transform. And what I want to do is really just thin this one out. Okay. Cause uh, you know, obviously looking from the side and make it a little bit smaller here as well. Okay. And just bring it over here. Now we're going to adjust the nose in the next tutorial here. So don't worry about the nose for now. Uh, the eyebrow is going to be, uh, you know, a lot thinner right over here. Okay, just maybe something simple like that would do. Probably thin it out here a little bit as well. Okay, I don't spend too much time on this. But there you go. Okay, so now I think it looks not not terrible. So what we can do is we can go preview and then we can see the result right here. So we get that sort of, you know, uh, simulated 3D uh, head perspective uh, on this on this character here. Okay, and then when you go down, it's going to look weird like this. But uh, we're going to adjust that in just a moment here. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's start with the uh, the upper right here, okay? And for this one, I'm gonna just uh, take this um, eye and make it a lot smaller, okay? We're gonna bring it down here. This one as well. Um, now for this angle here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the deform uh, tool as well, okay? So right now I'm using transform to scale and, and, uh, and move all these different sprites, okay? Like this, you can also rotate slightly as well. Something like this and uh, what I'm going to use for this uh, left eye here, I'm going to take this and, and bring it back here as well. And uh, I'm going to use the de de deform tool right here, okay? So deform, uh, we have the option, you know, for default, let's use, use it on this eye here. So uh, we have default control points, which are these ones right here. We have three by three, okay, which is in this, in this case the default, or there's two by two, okay? Now two by two, you can just, you know, simply move it around like this. And you can, uh, you know, create some forced perspective. Um, the default one in this case, you know, we'll just do something like this. Um, you can take all those control points and you can uh, modify them to uh, to various angles. A very neat one that you can use is perspective. Uh, perspective, uh, for for example, if you if I click on the face, perspective. I, if I take this, I click and drag. It's going to, you know, just uh, move both kind of like mirror both angles here to create a perspective. And if I go up and down, I can create a perspective on this side here as well, okay? Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and press Control Z and undo that there. Okay, we're not gonna worry too much about perspective in this in this case here. Again, with the eye, we can do a similar thing, okay? Same process, either this way or this way, okay? Um, we'll just go ahead and keep this for now. Um, I'm gonna use control points here and we'll just maybe just do a simple transform and move it back here and uh, make the eye smaller. Okay, since we need the, uh, needs to get a bit smaller there. I'll just kind of place it to uh, move that nose over here a little bit as well. It's trying to get everything into position here. I don't want to spend too much time on this. 
but uh, you kind of get the point of the uh, the process here. Uh, we're going to do a couple more, and then we can actually mirror it from left to right as well, okay? So this is going to be on the top left. I think this needs to be thinned out a little bit more as well. Eyebrow definitely needs to be thinned out. All right, and we'll just kind of, I think we'll work with this for now. Let's say nose there. and Again, like I mentioned, the nose, we're going to be uh, modifying that slightly in the next perspective. We'll just get the eyes kind of similar up there. Okay, so I think that's fine. We'll just go ahead and preview. So now we have this sort of perspective, like looking up like that. And then up and then medium and then down. Okay, so then down here we need to adjust that one as well. Just do that quickly. Okay, following the same kind of uh, procedure from the uh, first one, we can just uh, you know resize it, make it a lot smaller here, reposition that eye, and uh, this one over here, same thing. Make it a lot smaller because it's down there. This one needs to be thinned out, and the eyebrow definitely needs to be uh, taken in a bit. Okay, so again, this process can be a little monotonous uh, if you're not used to it. Um, depends, uh, and every every new character will need to be, need to be set up this way here as well. Okay, so just thin these out. We'll, we'll leave the nose around the same size right now because we're going to take care of that later. Um, I'm going to do some perspective on the eyes here as well. Yeah, bring this a little bit smaller, and this edge has to be a little smaller as well. And as well, the bottom we can thin that out. Okay, and then transform, we'll just move the position back into right around here. Okie dokie, so oh, let's just thin that one out. Okay, we're going to work with this for now. Uh, I need to make that eyebrow a lot smaller as well. And this hair is going to be in a weird position here as well. I'm going to take that down a little bit. Okay, so now we have uh, three angles all set up here. So down there, up here. Okay, so we've kind of simulated that perspective. You can get the uh, the results that you want. Again, when you go to extremes, it may not look as 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 good as you like, but uh, try and keep it within the you know within this sort of radius here, and you, and things uh, should be fine. And then we have up and we have down. Okay, so what we can do is for each angle here, we can mirror that now. So I can go, for example, up here to the top left, and I can select mirror. Okay. And that'll mirror, it'll offer us the option for just the selected prop, or just the selected sprite rather, or all of the sprites. Okay, so I'm going to choose all. This is going to be all the sprites in this particular angle profile uh, with mirror with transform. So the transform position, the deform position, the sprite. Uh, in this case, we didn't mess around with any layers. So we'll just go ahead and apply that. Okay, and then it'll apply to the other, other direction here. Same thing with this angle. Do this, like this, and apply it. And it'll go to the, the other side, just mirror it. and Bottom left here, uh, let's uh, maybe adjust that one a little bit. I don't like the looks of that one too much. Uh, if we look up here, let's make this eye a little bit larger. I think that's kind of what's bothering me. And that nose needs to be taken down as well quite a bit. Just leave it about there. Okay. All right. And we'll mirror that as well. So we'll mirror this one. All okay, and it'll mirror to that side. So now we have the uh, full the whole the whole uh, full shebang here. So we can just go all around like this, and you know, um, there's our three D head all created, all set up, and good to go. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. I mean, there's a few more details that we'll uh, get into in further tutorials here. But once you have that set up, I mean, you have your general. As long as your face isn't too complicated, you know, you can generally set it up like this in, in no time at all within a few minutes. And uh, you can have fun just animating your character from that point as well. Okay, so let's just close this down for now. Again, we can go back into uh, stage mode here. And then you can, uh, you know, use any tool you want, like the uh, facial key editor. And you can kind of just move your character around like this. All right, fun stuff. All right, everyone, so that's really all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. We'll talk about, uh, you know, further details in future tutorials about 360-degree uh, head creation. Uh, as always, make sure you check out our forums at forum.reillusion.com, as well as our uh, learning center on the Cartoon Animator 4 uh, main page there. And I hope to see you in the next video.